Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Uh, let us see about an important topic, RNA interference. So this RNA interference, uh, before going into the unit, uh, this mRNA which is produced from the DNA, all the portions of the mRNA is not transcribed to in the ribosomes. This interference RNA, it interrupts the biological process and the production of proteins from the mRNA by inhibiting the gene expression or the translation. So it is just uh, silencing or neutralizing the mRNA molecules. The different types of uh, interference RNAs are short nuclear RNA, short nucleolar RNA, uh, micro RNA, uh, short interference RNA and uh, short hairpin RNA. Among these, uh, the most important are miRNA and uh, siRNA. We will discuss that in detail. Uh, actually, this uh, concept was uh, introduced by Napoleon Jorgensen for the plants in the year 1990. But actually, medical works has been published by Andrew and uh, Mello, uh, Fire and Mello, who got the Nobel Prize in 2006 for their work in the RNA interference. So, first we will see about uh, the micro RNA. Actually, it comes from the SHRNA, it is uh, produced endogenously and it is having approximately 70 nucleotides. In the nucleus, it is called the pri-MIRNA. With the help of the enzyme Drosha, it gets converted to pre-MIRNA that comes out of the nucleus. With the help of another enzyme, Dicer, the pre-MIRNA is converted to MIRNA. Then the MIRNA gets bound to uh, RNA interference uh, silencing complex and Argonaut. So this complex uh, pairs with the target mRNA. There is no need for perfect pairing. If imperfect uh, pairing happens, it causes a bulging in the uh, target uh, miRNA. So uh, the net result is uh, translation of the target miRNA is uh, mRNA is uh, blocked or it may be destabilized. So this is about a miRNA. Let us see about uh, siRNA that can be administered exogenously via transposons or viruses. It is also a double standard RNA. With the help of a dicer, it gets converted to siRNA. And uh, with the help of, uh, uh, then it binds to the pre ribosomal uh, interference silencing complex and uh, organot that binds with the pairs perfectly with the mRNA which is the target uh, uh, mRNA which has to be destabilized or its uh, transcription has to be affected. So the net result is uh, destruction of the numerous copies of target mRNA. So this is the working of working principle of siRNA and miRNA. So siRNA or small interfering RNA is a non-coding RNA molecule. It is a double standard RNA molecule and is also called silencing RNA due to its involvement in silencing or inhibiting the expression of a gene. It controls transposons and helps in fighting viral infections also. siRNA is a double standard RNA molecule. It is around uh, approximately 20 to 25 nucleotides long. It contains uh, 5 dash phosphorylated ends and 3 dash hydroxyl groups. It has uh, two nucleotide overhangs on the both strands at the 3 dash end. So let us see the steps involved in the functioning of uh, small interferencing RNA. The first step is the formation of uh, siRNA from a longer double stranded RNA molecule. The longer double stranded RNA uh, is cleaved by an endoribonuclease uh, known as dicer. The siRNA generally have uh, two nucleotide long overhangs at the 3 dash end of both the strands. The siRNA is associated with uh, other proteins to form RNA induced silencing complex that is risk then siRNA then unwound to form a single stranded a small interferencing uh, RNA the sense strand is cleaved and the antisense strand becomes a part of the risk complex so the risk is RNA induced silencing complex so this complex is with the small interferencing RNA the single-stranded uh, siRNA then remains 
the part of active risk that forms a complex with the target mrna so they they both together form a complex the sirna plus ribo uh, rna induced silencing complex that is risk after uh, finding the complementary mrna the sirna binds to the target mrna and cleaves the mrna by uh, its action of uh, catalytic risk proteins so the the complex forms uh, um, that is it cleaves uh, the target mrna by its action of catalytic risk proteins so this leads to the degradation of uh, mrna that is the target mrna which is related to conversion to different proteins which are related to several diseases and that mrna is degraded before it uh, goes to the ribosomes uh, bind to it formation of uh, the uh, faulty proteins and the translation of uh, the target mrna is inhibited that is the gene is silenced so the gene silencing is the target function of small interference rna